Hello there, everybody. Not Slay 49. And in the wake of uh, Pokemon XD's tragic demise, I have decided to take your guys' suggestions and start up a new thing because I can. And we live in America, land of the free home of whatever friggin' thing. Now, keeping in line. It's Pokemon! Keeping in line with the, you know, Pokemon XD and all that. This is gonna be Pokemon. I said I was gonna do Spore after I was finished with XD. But, if you note, I said that I was gonna play Spore when I was finished with XD. And I very clearly never finished XD. It just decided that it was gonna go... It's... What's that guy's name? What's that guy's name? It's Dawn, and it's... Barry? No, Lucas! It's Dawn and Lucas. It's Lucas Arts. It's, uh, Pokeballs! Oh, what is that? It's Tortoran, and it's Chimchar, and it's Prinplup, and it's Piplup, and it's Infernape, and it's Grotal. And it's Infernape. And it's Empoleon. Oh, man, that is a lot of stuff. And it's Miley Cyrus! Yay! I wonder if you guys know which Pokemon game this is yet? You probably don't, you know. Just, uh... Just saying. Probably don't. But it's Pokemon Platinum. Anyway, so yeah, I said I was gonna do Spore after XD finish and blah blah blah, I already just said all that. But I don't care. Why is there already a save? Press up, select B on the title screen if you want to erase the save file. Alright. Up, select B. Delete all save data. Yes. Once data has been deleted, there is no way to recover it. Delete the save data anyway. You know, I think I actually tried playing Platinum once before. I don't remember why that didn't work. But screw it. One thing that I've learned from this uh, th this LP already, though, is that XSplit has support for animated GIFs! Look at that Giratina! Look at that glorious Giratina! Just look at its, all of its animated glory. I thought I was just going to have a static image of a Giratina, but no! XSplit surprised me, and it is in the animated... Mm, glorious. I gotta say, gotta say, it looks really cool. D deleting all the data takes a while. Any minute now, game. I'd speed it up, but I don't know if speeding up has an effect on saving data or not. There we go. Up. Oh, it's Pokemon! Hello there! It's so very nice to meet you! Welcome to the world of the bands! It's Professor Rowan! My name is Rowan. I had a friend named Rowan. I don't remember. I don't remember what happened with him. Whatever. My name is Rowan. However, everyone just calls me the Pokemon Professor. Just disregard that nobody does that. Just either call you Professor or they call you Professor Ro- whatever. <coughs> Before I go the very the further, is this your first adventure? If you need advice, I'm certainly capable of giving it. Screw you! This world is widely inhabited by creatures known as Pokemon. Here, I have a Pokeball. Touch a button in the middle of the button to put the screen. Beep. It's a bunny! We humans live as alongside Pokemon as friends. At times we play together, and at other times we work together. I still have a sore throat, by the way, so my voice is, uh... My voice is liable to crack mercilessly. I'm just saying, that's what happens when I get a sore throat. Some people use the Pokemon to battle and develop close bonds with them. What do I do? I conduct research so that we may learn more about Pokemon. Now, why don't you tell me a little bit about yourself? Are you a boy or are you a girl? Uh, Lucas looks fugly, so I'm picking Dawn and her friggin... Look at that! She's wearing a long coat and then no pants. What? What? 
It's it's like those girls that shave off their eyebrows and then re-pencil them back on. It doesn't make any sense. My name is Alex. You know? You know, they, 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 they do that, it just it doesn't make any sense to me. At all. Your name is Alex? Yeah. Okay, so you're Alex. A fine name, that is. Now this boy here, I believe he's your friend. What might his name be? His name is gonna be... Barry. I know that was one of the options, but screw it, thug life! This is your friend's name? Alright, Alex, the time has come. Your very own tale of grand adventure is about to unfold, and Nijini will meet Kelly's Pokemon appeal. I'm just gonna be able to skip many things, but I have something about yourself. No, go on, leap into the world of Pokemon. And by leap, I mean shrink! Of course, this is back when the sprites were still really short. Before the days of black and white and black and white too, where the sprites became really tall for some reason. Uh, Pokemon are by our side always. I hope you will understand the meaning of these those words. English. That was the comment left by Prof Rowan, who has returned from, to Sinnoh from the Kanto region. That concludes our special program, Let's Ask Prof Rowan, brought to you by Jubilife TV and Nationwide Net. See you next week, same time, same channel. Up, oh, it's Barry. There you are! Hey Alex, did you just see the TV show? You did Professor Rowan's really important season started Pokemon. That means he does lots lots of Pokemon here for you ask me, give us some Pokemon. Oh hey, is this a new PC? No, it's a new Apple. No, I I'd kill myself. <laughs> uh where was I? You were standing in front of my PC looking at all of my personal files. Oh, right, right, we were going to see Professor Owen and get some Pokemon. I'll be waiting outside. Okay, Alex, if you're late, I'm finding you $10 million. Hey. You may or may not know this, but Barry has ADHD. I wish I was joking. I'm, I'm pretty sure. I don't know. So, the X button opens the menu. Your mom opens the menu. Ow! Uh, it's the mother character in the game. Hello. Oh, it's Barry already left. I don't know what it was about, but he sure was in a hurry. Okay, quick question. If you're gonna just say that to somebody, and they're across the room, do you get up, walk all the way across the room, and then stand in front of them, and then tell them, and then just walk back to where you were sitting? Or do you just yell it at them? Like that. Oh, yes, Alex, don't go into the tall grass. Wild Pokemon might attack you. It'll be okay if you had your own Pokemon, but you don't So <laughs> I just love the way that's said. She just says, It'll be okay if you had your own Pokemon, but you don't. So, well, take care, sweetie. Yeah. Thug life. Let's do this. Let's go. They see me rolling. I can't. I can't really do anything. What? Hi, Alex Perry was looking for you. I think he's home now. Why don't you go check it out? Okay, quick question. There are four houses in this town. Um, one of them is mine. The other one is Barry's. So they've only got two inhabitants. So then, actually, yeah, no, yeah, no, no, never mind. The number of people in this town is okay. I was, I was gonna thud. What was that all about? Oh, hey, Alex, I'm going to see Prof. Rowan. You should come to it quickly. Oh, geez, forgot something. Aw, oh, snap. He forgot something. I guess we gotta go in and uh, find him. Look, it's the Barry mom. Oh, hi, Alex. Did you come calling on Barry? He was gone for a second, but then he came running back home. He just can't stand still, that boy. I wonder who he takes after. Well, I mean... I d I better take my bag and my journal too. Oh boy. Oh hey Alex will be waiting in the road, I'll just tell me fine for date. Yeah. Also, fun fact for later, Barry has the best rival music of all. Okay? The best. The only rival music better than him is Gary's champion theme. But Gary's champion theme is it's the best of all. Too slow. 
Well, I don't have shoes on, so I, I don't have running shoes, so I can't run. My legs are incapable of running. All right, let's get moving to Proffer Owens' lab. What? Well, I'm going to tall grass, right? No worries, no problem. It doesn't matter who would, would trust me. We have the, so you know the wild Pokemon jump into the tall grass. So we do is scoot over to the patch of grass before any wild Pokemon can appear. If we keep dash, we can get to see the end of time. Stick with me. Okay, here goes. On your marks. I can't run, though. I don't have running shoes. I don't know what kind of crazy legs you have where you can just run, but I can't. You two don't seem to have, have any Pokemon. But, uh, what is the meaning of going into the tall grass? I like how he's just saying that, like, Oh, it is a crime to go into the tall grass without any wild Pokemon. Done! <coughs> And Barry is silent. And the professor is silent. Silence. Hey, Alex, this old guy. It's Prof Rowan, isn't it? What's he doing here? Silence! They tried to go into the tall grass because they wanted Pokemon. Oh, uh, what to do? The world would surely change if they were to meet Pokemon. It's right for me to put them on that path. You two, you truly love Pokemon, do you? Yes! Me too, I love Pokemon too. I will ask you once again. You two, you truly love Pokemon, do you? What? You can ask a hundred times. The answer will never change. Unless he's programmed to infinitely ask that so long as I say yes. In which case, I would kind of have to say no, or else I would be stuck, and that wouldn't be good. I'd just be bad. We'll both answer a hundred times you love Pokemon. Right, Alex? Yeah, sure. A pair of reckless kids who foolishly try to enter tall grass without Pokemon of their own? It worries me what people like that would do with Pokemon. Ah, uh, well, I, uh... Well, then forget about me, but give a Pokemon to my friend here. I mean, it was me who tried to go into the tall grass after all. Exclamation mark! How big of you? Well, well then, I will entrust you two with the mans. I apologize for putting you through that exercise. However, you must promise me that you will never recklessly endanger yourself again. Now then, now where? Professor Rowan! You left your briefcase behind at the lake! Is, is something wrong here? Ah, there it is, Lucas, nice work! What I was about to do was entrust these two with their own Pokémon! What? Those Pokemon are crucial. You're giving them away? Hmm. We exist side by side with Pokemon. There comes a time when people should meet Pokemon. There's a world that we should explore together, Lucas. I thought I told you about this. For them, today is that time and the place right here. Go on, open the briefcase and choose a Pokemon. Really, Prof. Rowan? I can't believe it. I'm so happy now that I can't keep a straight face. Hey Alex, you can choose first. I'm practically grown up, I gotta show some class. Alright, so I get to choose my mans. We got a, three mans to choose from. We can either choose a, a Turch Wiggle or a Chimamachar. Chimamachar. Or a Piplup. Piplup is my favorite. But. Piplup is my favorite. I'm conflicted. Because there is a. There's a grass, a water, and a. F wow, that's not right. Grass, a fire, and a water type Pokemon that I want to use in this region already, so. Thug Life, I'm choosing Piplup. Then I choose you! I'm picking this turch. Uh, no, that's not Professor Rowan. Oh. Then I choose you. I'm picking this Turtwig. Very well. Both of you have chosen a good Pokemon, it seems. Implying that Chimchar is a bad Pokemon. Now listen well. The Pokemon you have been entrusted with are unfamiliar with the world. In that regard, they're much like you. As fellow newcomers to the world, I hope you'll do well together. If you do have any trouble, come see me at my lab in Sanjo Town. And I'll be on the way. They see me rolling. Professor, wait for me! Uh, sorry folks. Look at him just going. How do you like that? Prof. Rowan's really nice. On TV, he seems so stern and scary. 
Hey, we can put the time to come back to battle. That's what he said. That's what he said. I guarantee you, word for word. First Pokemon battle. Oh God. I'm telling you, Barry has ADHD. All right, so he's got a little turt wiggle. We've got a little. Oh. Oh. Little pippity lup. We're gonna pound this guy into the dirt. Pound it. Damn it! That's right. That's the starter that has withdraw. Turtwig is the only starter that ever gets withdraw. Ever. Ever. As a result, if you pick Piplup, there is a good chance you could lose. Okay, I'm just gonna speed this up quick. Oh god. God. Please just get a critical! Get a critical! Oh god! There we go! <laughs> 67! Level up! We got to level 67. 6... 6... 6... 6... 6... 6... 6... 6... 6... 67. Did we learn bubble? No, we don't learn bubble. What are you saying? We ended up losing. What, did you not notice that your Turtwig is unconscious? He's like, Go on, Turtwig! And then Turtwig's just laying on the ground. Just bleeding. Yeah, you can win, Turtwig! Whew! Let's go home! I'm beat after that battle. My Pokemon needs rest, too. See ya, Alex! And then Mom's just here cooking the dinner. Because there's no father figure. Because this is Pokemon. There's no such thing. What's the matter, dear? Wow, that's what happened to you? You and Barry are lucky to have met Professor Rowan. Imagine if you didn't. I mean, it's 1.30 a.m. And you're a little girl going out with only an ADHD boy to defend you. And you can defend, you, but you're 10 years old. You're both like 10, so... I am a good parent! I wouldn't like to think what the wild Pokemon might have done to you two. Oh, God! It's brutal. Axe, go see Prof. Rowan and thank him. His lab is in the Sand Jam Town. Now they have your own Pokemon. The tall grass won't be so threatening. I'll put these on. Yay, we got shoes. We can run now. Going to Sand Jam Town is an adventure with these running shoes. You can Let me read the instructions. Blah, blah, wiggity, wham, whizzle. Blah, blah, wiggity, wham, whizzle. Okay. So now we can run. Uh, we can run real fast. I think it's about twice the rate. Oh, look. It's Barry. Too slow, Alex. I'm sick of waiting. We're going to see Prof. Rowan so I can thank you properly. Add this great idea. You know the lake where we always play at? You know the state of legendary Pokemon lives there? Yes, Miss Brit. You guessed it. Let's catch that Pokemon. We don't have any balls. That'll make Prof. Rowan happy. I'm sure of that. Me and you together. We've got nothing to fear. What? Oh. Oh, he's following me. Okay. So now we get to... <laughs> I like how you can run, but all he can do is speed walk. Alright, we're at the lake. Get ready because we're capturing that legendary Mesprit. Can't trust me on this one. It's here. It even says so on the sign. What about the cosine? Ha! What's going on? It's Miley Cyrus. The flowing time. The expanding space. I will make it all mine one day. Miley Cyrus is my name. Remember it! I'm living on a teenage dream! That's what he said. Just disregard the text that was actually there. Allow me to pass. Step aside. What was that all about, weird guy? Oh, let's catch a man's. Cune! Was that Mesprit? Was, was, was that the Pokemon with the best battle theme of all? Did you hear that, Alex? That was the legendary Pokemon crying the head of me at the kids' channel's catch it! Wait, what? We don't have anything on us! You know, Pokeballs! P-O-K accent E... Balls! If we don't have those, we can't catch Pokemon or take them around with us. Do you think Prof. Rowan would give us some if we asked him? You know, you remember what he said, don't you? said to visit him out of his lab if we needed anything. Okay, Alex, I'll race you first into the preference lab to the drills. Alright, so we're gonna go. We're gonna go. 
Seeing as this is the first part, I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna... Continue. Just watch. First wild Pokemon ever? It's gonna be a Bidoof. Yep, yep! It's a Bidoof. Okay, okay, quick, just, just quick note. A couple of you have been a bit confused as to why Bidoof's face looks like a muffin. It's not his entire face. It's just... It's just his snout and his buck teeth. His snout, his nose, and his buck teeth. That is the muffin. But, uh, yeah, pound it. Pound a doof! Oh no, I died, yep, yep. Okay, so now I can keep going. First wild Pokemon in the adventure. Bidoof. Hi, I've been waiting for you. Uh, please come with me. The professor's, the professor's waiting to see you. See, this is our Pokemon research lab. We'll just go ahead and... Thud. What the? Oh, it's you, Alex! That old guy, he's not scary as much as he totally is out there. It doesn't matter, I'll see you later. What was that? Your friend always seems to be in such a rush. Anyway, let's go in. Oh, also, pro tip. I have... This thing of coke. It is way too much coke. No one will ever need this much coke, okay? And by that, I mean it's a large coke. God, it is absurd. Well, well, look who's here. Alex, was it? Let's have a look at your mans. Hmm, I see. This Pokemon seems to be rather happy. Hmm, entrusting you with that pimple up was no mistake, it seems. Well, would you like to give it a nickname? Yes, I am going to name my pimple up. Um, um, um. Roberto. Mm, okay, I see. And you're happy with that nickname? When I first saw you two about to step into the tall grass without Pokemon, I was shocked. <laughs> How tall is the tall grass anyway? Like to your knees? I was astounded by these foolhardy children, but now you've astounded me in an entirely different way. Already there's a bond growing between you and that Pokemon, 007 James Bond, Goldeneye. I have feel privileged to have met you. I'm sure Roberto feels the same way about you. That's why I'll ask you cherish that Roberto of yours. Boy, am I glad you're kind toward Pokemon. If you weren't, well, I, I don't even want to think about it. <laughs> Let's move on to the main topic. There's something I want you to do for me. Allow me to properly introduce myself first. My name is, as you know, is Rwanda. I study Pokemon. First of all, I want to know exactly what kinds of Pokemon live in the Sinnoh region. To do so, it is necessary to collect data using the Pokédex. This is what I wish to ask of you. I want to entrust you with this Pokédex. Will you use it to record that on the subway but some Yeah. Mmm Good answer. We got a Dex! That bug box is a very high deck device, so I'll make record that on every Pokemon card. Alex, I ask that you go everywhere and meet every kind of Pokemon in this region. I've got the same kind of Pokedex as you. When you walked up Route 201 with your Pokemon, what did you feel? I've lived if Oh, this is no longer Lucas talking. I've lived for 60 years. Even now I get a thrill when I'm with a Pokemon. That could be something you get arrested for. Now you should know that there are countless Pokemon in this world. That means that there are just as many thrills waiting for you out there. There are 493 in this game, actually. It's not countless. Unless you mean individual Pokemon. In which case, yes, they are countless. You just run in the grass. There are as many as you need. Now go! Alex, your grand adventure begins right now. The professor asked me to help, so I'm filling the Pokedex pages too. That makes us comrades working towards the same goal. I'll teach you stuff later, okay? And now we can go. Yes. Alex! I have something good here, you should take this as well. Obtain the TM27. Let's return. 
You know how I know that? It's because 27 is one of my favorite numbers ever. Okay? Friggin' M27 Black Ops 2? Favorite. Favorite. That is a technical machine. That one contains the move return. Using a technical machine, or TM for short, teaches a move instantly to a man. Bear in mind, however, that a TM is single use only. Unless you're playing on Generation 5. In which case, that I just lied. I just lied! The move return gains power with the, with the more friendly Pokemon. It's up to you, of course, if you want to use the TM or not. I'll send you off the wish that your journey will be fun. Well, I'll be. The professor had TMs. TM, just the one. He, he didn't give you any. He didn't give Barry any. Just me, because I'm his favorite. Next thing you'll tell me, he battled when he was young. Hey, Alex, I want to show you a few things, so follow me. da 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 the building with the red roof is the Pokemon Center. You can heal your mans. The Pokemon Center. It's blue, it's the shop. You buy things, you spend your money, bam. You can just do a thing. Oh yeah, Alex. You should let your family know you're helping Prof Rowan put together his Pokedex. Sometimes you have to go far away. So you should let someone know. Oh, but first go heal up your Pokemon at the center. You're safe then, okay, be seen. Okay, so now we have to go to Z Little Root town you can go to little root town also you can jump down these ledges if you didn't already know that I don't know why I was going to Verity Lakefront I felt like there might have been a thing there you know a thing for me to find a fun thing I'm behind the sign good night next time